<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Friday, right? It's Frilici Friday. We are going to have some fun today. Oh my goodness, it is fairly like gloomy outside and supposed to be all weekend long. So we are going to have lots of fun playing with cute, fun, beautiful stuff right here in the craft room. So what are we going to be playing with today? Did I say I'm Amy Ferlici? If I didn't say that, yeah, welcome. Welcome to Facebook Friday. I'm Amy Ferlici. Yes, and we are going to have some fun. Well, hello, Miss Anne. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so we are going to be playing with... So it is kind of funny because I know I played with this like a little while ago, I think earlier, like way early this summer. Hello, Miss Diane. Um, so this is, what is it, right? What did I play with already? But I used like the opposite side of this designer series paper. Hello, Miss Susan. So this week we are going to be playing. Hello, Gay. Welcome, welcome. Everybody's popping on. Yes, so this is the Mediterranean Bloom. So you can see this was the back side of the designer series paper. So I played with the Hello, Miss Deb with the kind of oranges, greens, yellows. Bonnie, welcome, welcome. Well, this time we are going to be playing with these beautiful blues. So I had jokingly, I'm sure it was at class, said, you know, I have to get like a couple packs of this paper because I love playing with these fun, bold, beautiful lemons and oranges and the pretty, like the oranges and yellows and greens, right? But then I absolutely love like this Mediterranean tile, the blues in it, right? Kind of reminds me of Greece or Italy. So hello, Miss Teresa. I think I've got everybody popping on. So thank you guys so much. So we are going to have so much so fun. Um, these, I have like a couple of partial pieces and then I've got some full pieces. Oh yeah. So then you're not actually seeing the backside of these two when I flip them over. And my dad, thank you. <laughs> I know rainy day here in Michigan. It's supposed to be kind of a, like a rainy weekend too. So actually I am heading up north with um, my crafting girlfriends. We, we normally do craft O-Rama at one of our houses like a couple times a year. And then my friend Melissa had suggested last year was the first year we did this. Like, hey, my um, husband's family has a cottage up in Petoskey, which is a beautiful area in northern Michigan. Um, so they have a cottage on a little lake up in the Petoskey area and so we went up there last summer and it was like an absolutely beautiful most perfect weekend well this is the weekend we're heading up there totally not going to be the same situation but basically we're like well we can craft and we can shop and we can eat so we'll still have lots and lots of fun so uh, after facebook live i'm going to be heading out my friend stacy's coming to meet me here at my house and then we're heading up north so should be an awesome time uh, but in the meantime we're going to have lots of fun hello miss trish thank you guys everybody for joining um so yeah lots of fun playing with this mediterranean blooms design her series paper. Miss Amy Adams, hello and welcome. You guys, thank you. I've got so many fun people um, popping on to say hello and see what's going on. So what else? Oh, couple quick reminders. So bonus day coupons. If you earned a bonus day coupon in July, you need to make sure to use them in August. So you have the whole month of August. What do we have? About two weeks left, I would say. Um, actually, two weeks from today is my daughter Lily's birthday. She is going to be, how old is she? going to be she's going to be 20 yeah because she was born in 04 so yeah 2024 she is going to be 20 years old two weeks from today which is actually um i was going to say our next facebook live but it's not because i'm not going to do it on her birthday i'm actually going to do facebook live two weeks in a row you guys this is like pretty special uh yes yeah, so we're going to be live next friday as well um okay so yeah but in the meantime don't forget i'm like you know, you know me, I'm kind of always all over the place. But yeah, so you have about two weeks to use your bonus day coupons. You also have about two weeks to get in on the designer series paper sale. So that's annual catalog designer series paper. Um, I've got my little flyer here. So um, this is all of the paper that is on sale. So do we have like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 different packs of paper. Some of it is actually only online. Um, I think like the Countryside Inn designer series paper um, carried over and the Bright and Beautiful designer series paper. Those both carried over from our last annual catalog. Oh, and then Painted Lavender, which is still one of the most absolute favorite papers 
in most people's minds. But then I think it's pretty much all of the designer series paper in our current annual catalog and actually including the Winter Meadow, which is a beautiful um, wintry, kind of fall wintry designer series paper from our holiday mini catalog last year. That is still around too. I think it's on back order right now. But anyway, 15% off. So great deal, right? If you love our beautiful designer series paper, order it now because you get a, get it on sale, right? Through the end of the month, okay? Um, oh, yes. And then actually, speaking of designer series paper, hello, Miss Pam, and welcome. We have a new holiday mini catalog. So I'm going to be doing a holiday a mini catalog paper share. There are, I think it's like 10 packs of paper um, that I'm going to be including in the paper share. It's only $38 to get a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in our holiday mini catalog. I think I've ordered it all now or pretty much all of it. So I'll be able to show you very soon what a paper share looks like. It's only $38 though. So if you're interested, let me know and I can get you signed up. I will be putting my first order in on the first day that we can order officially for customers customers out of the mini catalog, which is I think September 4th. Um, so beginning of September, I'll put that first paper share order in, but I'm taking names and numbers and payments right now. So if you're interested, let me know. And then also, if you need a holiday mini catalog, let me know that too, right? Um, I cannot open, I cannot show you the inside of the catalog. I think because those crazy counterfeit companies, like they watch our Facebook lives or something and then like get pictures of things that we share. So they won't let us share before the catalog goes live. Um, hello, Miss Pinky and welcome. But yeah, so if you need a catalog, holiday mini catalog, let me know, okay? Um, what else? What else? I think we are like just diving right in. Let's do our first drawing. I'm going to already clear some things off here. There we go. No, I feel better. I got a little bit less on my table. Not quite as chaotic already. Nancy, hello and welcome. You guys, I'm so excited. Lots of friends saying hello today and popping on. Okay, so names are in this basket right here if you shared our last Facebook Live video. Now, I do know that it's interesting. Sometimes when I um, look at my video, I don't see a share button. So there might be like a like, a comment. And then I think there's one that says send now. So if you don't see share, click on send. And then um, you can either share it through the send button to your Facebook profile or down at the bottom, there are a bunch of little circles and one of them is a group and you can actually share it to a group through that send function. So I tried to put notes on how to do that. Um, hello, Pink yes, Pinky down in Georgia, it's probably hot for you. We're actually a little bit cooler today here in Michigan and all weekend long. I guess the rain is bringing the cooler weather too. Um, but yeah, so anyway, names are in here. If you share the Facebook Live video, one entry. If you share it to a group, you get five entries. If you sign up for my email list, your name is in here. If you posted a picture of a project that you made right here in our Facebook group, your name is in this drawing. And then lastly, I pick one random post. And if you commented on that particular post that I pick, your name is in here as well. So what are we giving away? We we have, these are the, what are they called? The dappled, yeah, adhesive backed dappled dots, which I think are on back order right now, but you can get this package for free. Your name is in the drawing. So we're gonna shake these up really well. I'm like doing a little quick double check to make sure I haven't missed anything. I think we're good, yeah, okay. So <clears throat> here we go, one lucky winner. Who is it going to be? Whenever I feel I'm like bunched up, I gotta separate them. A lot more names in this drawing <laughs> than the next one that we do. <laughs> I would love to have a million names in my next drawing. That would mean lots of people are placing online orders through me. Let's make it happen, ladies, wanna? <laughs> my little plug there for your orders. Okay, here we go. Miss Gay, Gay, I think, Gay, how do I pronounce your last name? I'm gonna say Poter, but maybe I'm wrong. So tell me, you have to like, I don't know, hi phonetically, like spell it out for me. But Miss Gay, congratulations. You are the winner of the Dappled Dots. So I will get those sent out to you. And thank you so much for your participation on our Facebook group. She's a good commenter and sharer and liker of the posts and all those things. 
help increase your chances of winning. So thank you. All right, got names in there for the next one. So again, on our next Facebook Live, which is just one week from today, we are going to give away, these are a fun new, this is an online exclusive product. These are called the Pecan Pie and Clear Ribboned Dots. So let's see if I get that like kind of zoomed in. So they're, I guess they're calling them ribboned because they have like little squiggles on them. Can you kind of see it's almost like little, little bits of ribbon. I feel like you can see them a little bit more on the Pecan Pie than you can on the clear. Uh-oh, neighbor dog is barking, which means Stormy's gonna bark back. So he's going upstairs though. Yeah, there he is. Okay, hopefully, hopefully he goes back inside soon. I feel like that dog has really bad manners. I don't know, you know, I'm like, can't you people train your dog? <laughs> but then what does that say about me, right? Cause then my dog barks, cause their dog's barking. So what does that say about me and my training of my dog too, so. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so yeah, we will give these away on our next Facebook Live next Friday, which is August 23rd. We will be back again live. Share the video, comment, um, share a picture of a project, uh, sign up for my email list. Your name will be in that drawing. Okay, uh, I want to give a huge, yes, congratulations to Miss, hello, Becky. Welcome, welcome from Kentucky. I haven't seen your name pop on here in a little while. I'm glad to have you join us. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so I want to give a huge congratulations. One of our, oh, there's Gay. Yes, okay, I pronounced, oh, good. Okay, okay, awesome. I'm glad. That's a beautiful name, Poter. I like that a lot. Um, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the Facebook Lives, too. I try to make them as fun as possible. I think it's one of those, if you guys are going to spend an hour with me, let's make it fun. Fun, have some fun, make you smile and show you some cute stuff, right? So, okay, so ah, uh, what are we talking about? Oh, we have one of our Ink Inspired Stampers team members just promoted to Bronze Elite. She bought the starter kit not very long ago. She's going like gangbusters. So congratulations to Miss Deb Strauss. She just promoted to Bronze Elite, which means she already has $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales. She is wanting to actually hold classes and events. And so she's doing lots of prep to kind of get herself ready to be able to do that. Um, I think Christmas cards is going to be her thing. She's going to be working on some Christmas card classes. So I mentioned this also because you never know. Uh, buying that starter kit is such an awesome, well, it's always an awesome deal. Um, and then there are lots of opportunities if you so choose. So like in this case, Deb has decided she wants to kind of uh, step up in terms of being a demonstrator. Hello, Sandy, how are you? And welcome, welcome. Um, but you don't have to, that's the big thing. That's the beauty of Stampin' Up! is most people buy the starter kit just to get the discount. They are happy shoppers, they love to shop, me included, right? Everyone loves like our products, right? So why not get the starter kit, get that awesome deal, and then get your 20% discount on everything you order. If you happen to accumulate $1,800 in sales within a 12-month period, you actually promote to Bronze Elite, which is what Deb Strauss did. So now she actually gets a 25% discount on everything she orders for herself, or she earns income at 25% of everything that she sells. So congratulations to Deb. She just promoted to Bronze Elite. She actually did that and like I said, a pretty quick period of time. So she also qualified for something called Quick Start. So through Stampin' Up, um, they actually, if you reach $1,800 in sales within your first full six months after you buy the starter kit, you get a $100 product credit from Stampin' Up. So uh, Deb, you're going to get $100 in free stuff or whatever you want on your next demonstrator order. I also love to congratulate my team members. So anyone in my first through third levels also gets a $50 shopping spree for me when they promote to Bronzy Lee. And then they get a beautiful charm necklace and some charms to go in their charm necklace. So Again, congratulations to Miss Deb on promoting to Bronzy Lee and doing it so quickly that she qualified for Stampin' Up's Quick Start program. Both of them, actually, she did because she reached $900 in sales in her first three months, so she got a $50 credit already from Stampin' Up. And then the $1,800 in sales got her an additional $100 product credit. So she's trucking right along. 
And again, like I said, that um, opportunity, those big deals are available to anyone that buys the starter kit. So if you're ever thinking about it, let me know if you have any questions too on the starter kit. I have a feeling it's been a little bit, I'm thinking maybe with the, um, like the new mini catalog, the new uh, holiday mini catalog, I bet we will have some kind of starter kit deal coming up this fall. So September, October, November, I'm feeling like it's probably got to be coming. Um, they haven't told us for sure as far as, far as I know. I was on the website last night, so unless something's popped on there today. Uh, but soon enough, we will have another awesome deal. Um, it's always an awesome deal, though. I do love to make sure to mention that. If you're ever thinking about ordering like $100 or more, get the starter kit because it's the best deal out there. You get to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus a sales tax. That shipping fee is waived also. So if you put a $100 order in, um, you're going to pay 11% shipping and whatever your sales tax is in Michigan, ours is 6%. So you might as well get the starter kit because it's essentially like $105 for $100 in product. You will not pay anywhere near that if you put a $100 order in with your 11% shipping and uh, in our case, 6% sales tax on top of that. So awesome deal always. And then sometimes Stampin' Up! sweetens the deal with an extra special starter kit deal. So I'll let you know when that's coming. All right. All right. I am feeling the little tickle in my throat. I'm going to grab a sip of water and <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of cheating here because, well, cheating is that the right word? I don't know. Um, I'm going to show you some, <laughs> these are swap cards from Teresa and Teresa Hinchman, who is watching right now, Miss Teresa and Jamie Sanders. They sent me their swap cards. Our meeting team meeting isn't until next Tuesday. So they are long distance team members. They're not like local, like right around here in the Alma area. So they mail their swaps into me. I got them and had to open them. And they're so stinking cute that I want to share them with you guys right now. So we are going to do that. And I will show you, first of all, this is Miss Teresa's card. And I love it's um simple last month she went way over the top with lots and lots of details so this one simple yet beautiful still and I love this little just that little it's like she cut off the designer series paper kind of in the corner added some ribbon put the sentiment right there so super cute and then these dies the spotlight on nature dies probably one of the most popular set of dies that we have I think I have two orders for these sitting in my order folder to be ordered because they're on back order right now so have faith they will be coming back I'm sure because there's no way they wouldn't because they're so popular um, but yeah I and I don't even have these yet I keep thinking do I need to get them because everyone and clearly is buying them without me even showing anything but I kind of want them too so we'll see <laughs> it just depends right if I find other things but there's something about kind of the detail around that too so beautiful swap card so thank you Miss Teresa for sending your swaps in um, so what I do at our meeting is I'll take these with me to our team meeting and then I'll swap them around with everybody at our meeting and then I mail them back to Miss Teresa hello Mr. Mike how are you so Mike is moving his son into his apartment in Big Rapids he's heading uh, back to Fair State for his third year in college right now so hopefully it's going well I'm amazed so in between moving you're still popping on a Facebook live huh <laughs> that's awesome and hopefully fingers crossed because he's kind of so he lives down in New Baltimore which is like kind of down here and then he took his son way up here to Big Rapids and I'm kind of in the middle so we're hoping that maybe he can make a little stop on the way back home so we'll see fingers crossed it just kind of depends on our timing today so okay and that that's what you guys really needed to know about right is whether I'm going to be able to see Mike today or not but fingers crossed that that happens right um okay so next card this one is from Miss Jamie Sanders so this features the iconic imagery bundle basically so there's the stamp and then the dies love that label die and then it's also the iconic celebrations designer series paper so I will tell you what loved this card so much and it was sitting on my table when I was prepping for for bingo that we had last night that we decided or we me <laughs> I decided we had to make this card at bingo last night too so thank you so much for your inspiration Miss Jamie and everyone loved making your card last night at bingo too so thank you for that um, I will actually show you I'm going to kind of segue um, is that going to really mess me up I don't know is it or not <laughs> 
you know, if I go out of order, I get a little like discombobulated. But I'm gonna show you the other things that we made at Bingo last night too. I guess because also I wanna make sure that you guys know about all of the online exclusive products that we have available. So you're probably seeing a bunch of things um, that, that are not in our holiday mini catalog. Those are online exclusives. So this is another example. This is from the Scenic Pumpkin stamp set. Um, I actually use some of that Country Woods Designer Series paper that's on sale in our annual catalog right now. But then this is just a really cute, fun kind of builder scene stamp set that is part of our online exclusives. Um, thank you, Miss Becky. So, and then on the inside, we stamped a couple more pumpkins and they're actually um, really just fun to kind of add the little stems on top of the pumpkins there. We stamped um, some on our envelope too. And then like I said, we made Jamie's swap card also. Love these, beautiful, right? So those were our two make and takes. And then I made this cute little treat box for everybody too. This is um, some of that two market designer series paper from our annual catalog on sale 15% off right now. Um, I think this little hello friend is a sentiment from the, the duck, can't remember the exact name, but the duck stamp set, right? And then these are some of the Unbounded Beauty dies, one of our little flower punches there too. So put some little, um, what did I put in there? Like fruit snacks, <laughs> kind of just, um, I don't know, fold them up a little bit and they fit right down in there. I love, I was telling the gals, this box is, made, is basically made from a half a sheet of cardstock. So in this case, it's Blackberry Bliss cardstock. I have a video. Um, I was like fumbling with my words last night as I was telling the ladies at Bingo, like I've made this box on and off for years and years. I don't, yeah, you guys can kind of see there's one there and there's one there in different colors. Um, and so I have a video on my YouTube channel um, that shows you how to make this box. It's not gonna look exactly like this because it's not that exact paper. It could be one of these guys. Um, <laughs> I honestly can't remember because I've made quite a few of them. Um, but so these are fun too, the purples, right? I love that stripey ribbon there also. Um, so anyway, if you look, if you wanna know, because it's really not too complicated. How did those go? Let's make sure, there we go. That's good enough, right? Um, really not very complicated to make. Basically you like score and cut and fold it together and put it together with some adhesive and it's super duper cute. So that was the fun little, um, little treat. So I always give everybody a little treat box of some kind, right? They also get, um, in this case, we got some brand new designer series paper out of the holiday mini catalog. Um, it was, I'm trying to think, I can't remember the name of it, um, but it it's, goes with this pom-pom ribbon because everybody got two yards of this beautiful, can you guys see that? It's a pool party pom-pom ribbon super duper cute so yeah so everybody's a winner basically at bingo whether you actually win on your bingo cards or not you go home with make and takes treat boxes and a pillow gift which again was a quarter of a pack of some new beautiful designer series paper and a couple yards of that pool party um what did i call it polka dot or dotted <laughs> i don't know yeah um Pom-pom, that's right, pom-pom, yeah. I was like, kind of squint to see if I could read what it said there, because I had forgotten the name of it already, because my head is all over the place as usual. Um, okay, so let's see. Oh, well, so I wanna like segue into here. This is kind of a good example, right? So these are, this is a flyer for our online exclusive. So this is some of the designer series paper that Jamie used on her swap card. There's that stamp set right there. I know I've shown you guys. Oops, wait, those didn't go together quite right. Here we go. This is the other half of this one. So there are those dies, right? That one, I love that label dies. So stamp set and dies. Um, these are the um, pecan pie and clear ribboned gems that we're giving away if you share the video. Some white frayed ribbon. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else that looks like everything on that one and there's actually more than this too for example that pumpkin the scenic pumpkin stamp set we don't actually have a flyer for it 
Um, Philomena, hello and welcome, welcome. But if you go to stampinup.com, click on shop, there is one of the buttons that says online exclusives. Just click on that and you'll see everything. So it's going to include these things that I'm sharing with you. Beautiful designer series paper. I think one of these is um, on back order right now, the season of green and gold because it's super duper beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for the share too, Miss Philomena. And then um, the peaceful green greenery vellum. We played with a bunch of these things at our uh, class. What's that called? <laughs> Simple, beautiful card class. Hello, Linda. Welcome, welcome. Hey, lots of lots of fun new names showing up on here too. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, and then more stamps and dies. Thank you, Nancy, for sharing. This is the greetings of the season, the stamps and dies. And then there's an everyday greeting stamp set, some more ribbon and gems. Anyway, my point is there's lots and lots of cool stuff not in any catalog. We used a bunch of it last night at Bingo, and I'm, I am I think this is probably our best round, I would say, of online exclusive product that is available. Um, so check it out, stampinup.com, click on shop, and then click on the online exclusive button. You'll see all of this stuff that I just showed you. You'll also see a ton of kits. You guys know the Stampin' Up! is releasing two new kits every single month. Some of them are like as cheap as $13 or $14 and you make like eight or nine cards in them. Um, so great deal, right? You can't go to Hallmark and get um, eight or nine cards for $13 or $14, that's for sure. Plus you made them too, so that makes it even better, right? So check that out if you're, because like I said, you're probably seeing lots of things like that you're like, where are these things? I don't see them in a catalog because they're not in the catalog. So just know that they're definitely doing more of that online exclusive stuff. Off. So I think what it is is then they are not held to like a sales period. Like obviously if it's in the catalog, we're going to try to make sure they have it available through that full catalog sales period. Online exclusives, when they are gone, they are gone. So if something's super duper popular, I think they do order more. I don't, I'm not quite sure what the kind of the ordering plan or strategy is. Um, so sometimes they go on um, back order as unorderable for a little while. But um, so I think the point really is though, if you see something that you love, order it, order it as soon as you can, just in case it does go away and doesn't come back. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see here. Oh, just a couple of quick reminders. I am doing classes locally here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church. So I always do a scrapbook class the last Tuesday of every month. We make three 12 by 12 pages. I think I've shown you guys my pages. Um, if not, I probably, sh I think I did. If I didn't, tell me if you guys want to see them. Um, I can show them on our next Facebook Live. Uh, but anyway, we make three 12 by 12 page layouts. So a two page spread that coordinates and then a single page. And then the next month we make the other half of that single page plus two more pages. So that class, um, always the last Tuesday of the month, RSVPs are due about 10 days before class, which is actually this Sunday. So let me know if you're interested in joining us right here in Alma, six o'clock Peace Lutheran Church on the last Tuesday in August, whatever, maybe the 27th. I'm going to, I'm trying to like squint and see if I can see my calendar. Then also we have simple, beautiful card class where we make four beautiful, yeah, simple cards um, each month. It's usually the second Friday of the month, but my birthday is actually <laughs> on the second Friday, which is Friday the 13th in September. So no class that day because we're going to Mackinac Island. Mike and I are. So we're going to, I'm moving it up. We're going to do class. Um, Simple Beautiful Card class is going to be the first Friday in September. So it's September 6th. We'll be having class right here again in Almo, one o'clock at the Peace Lutheran Church, if you're interested. And then you guys also need to know we are doing our next one day retreat again right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It is October 19th. It's a Saturday all day long. Come hang out with us. It is the most bestest, funnest, awesomest day ever. Bring whatever you want to work on, right? I always have um, scrapbook pages and cards available so you can, um, you know, use any of those for ideas. Um, I also have make and takes. Um, you get a goodie bag too that you use some of the product from your goodie bag 
in your make and takes. Um, what else? Oh, I have my buy one, get one free sale there also. Um, I feed you all day long. So basically all you have to do is come and hang out and chit chat with your friends if you want to, or put your earbuds in and ignore everyone and just jam out to your music and make whatever you want to make. Um, so we'd love to have you join us. Again, that is Saturday, October 19th. If you RSVP and prepay by Friday, September 6th, you actually get an extra free gift in your goodie bag too. So let me know if you're interested. I'd be happy to get you more info too if you would like more info on that. Um, okay, I have been talking a lot and I think we are ready. We're gonna do our next drawing. Here, let's just scoot all this stuff out of the way again. Organizing, organizing, right? <clears throat> I'm moving slow too. Had a tough workout this morning and the legs are like a little tight and a little sore. So, <laughs> you know, when you walk and you're like, your legs are kind of like jelly, but also kind of like locked in place. Like that's how I'm feeling. It's a weird, it's both actually. It's both of those at the same time, which is really weird. Mm. Actually, maybe it's my knees that are locked in place. Okay, so <laughs> as I digress once again. Um, okay, we are going to do our next drawing. I want to show you guys all the stuff you get for free from me. Now, this is not just every once in a while. This is with every single online order, ladies. This basket should be full based on everything that I give away as a thank you for your online order, right? So, for example, if you ordered in the last two weeks, you're gonna get these two cards that I made on our last Facebook Live. Absolutely, as a thank you from me, spend at least $50 and you get these two cards as a thank you from me. This time, you're gonna get the two cards I'm gonna make in just a few minutes, which they are super duper cute also. They're always so cute, right? You also get to pick from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial right here this is our august tutorial uh 16 projects in here you can get this whole look at all that like wow tons of pictures details descriptions exactly how to make the project this is my project right here if you don't want the tutorial you can get the free embellishment right so look at this is all adding up right two cards Pick from the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. Your name is also right now in the drawing to win this iconic imagery stamp set. This is the cute stamp set that Jamie used on her swap card and the card that we made at uh, Bingo last night. Plus, gets even better. If you bump your order up to $100, you get an additional five free cards from me. So look at all of this, right? So $100 order gets you seven cards. PDF tutorial or embellishment and your name right now is in this drawing. So seriously, put your online orders in, ladies. I truly appreciate them and I love to say thank you with all these goodies. So here we go. One lucky winner. And who is it going to be? Yeah, like I said, this basket should be full. <laughs> Maybe someday, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Um... It's not, it's not so hard to get only one in your hand when there aren't that many in here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Miss Roseanne Lafreniere. All right, congratulations, Miss Roseanne. You are the winner of the Iconic Imagery stamp set. So congratulations. I'll get that. I'll get your five free cards. I'll get your two cards from Facebook Live, and I'll get your embellishment all sent out to you. And then anybody else that orders still gets those two free cards and the free embellishment or PDF tutorial, plus an extra five cards if you ordered more than $100. Okay, so thank you, ladies. I do truly appreciate that. Okay, on our next Facebook Live, if you put an online order, so this is, you've got just a week to do this, which is still plenty of time, right? You could win. These are the, check these out. Um, what are these masks? These are called the Frosted Forest Decorative Masks, right? So I actually was gifted these. So thank you, Miss Carla Dilly. She, um, I guess in the beginning, maybe the way Stampin' Up! was showing this bundle. So there's a stamp, dies, and masks all included in the bundle. She didn't realize that. Typically, it's just a stamp and die set in the bundle. So she ordered these um, masks again. So she got two packs. So she, she left them on my porch saying, Amy, this is an extra 
mask or set of masks use as you see fit and i'm like you know what we're giving them away on facebook live so here we go um this is what you could win and let's see i want to let me see if we can open these i was gonna originally i was like are these in the um new mini catalog but they're not they're an online exclusive and you know what hold on let me show you this is the <clears throat> yeah so this is the whole bundle because I was like, I do have this. So this might be familiar. So the masks are going to stamp something like these trees right here, right? So this is the whole bundle, stamp masks and dies. Let's check out the dies though too. So <laughs> you can see I've ordered these. I just got them not too long ago. Have not had a chance to play with them. Haven't even opened them up yet, right? Uh, so let's see. check these dies out oh yeah okay Woo! all right we're gonna be playing with these ladies maybe this will be on my next facebook live we shall see right okay so check out all of those dies that coordinate with the stamp set right so oh my gosh yeah so all the detail right so there's a bunch of detail but then this outline and this outline also We'll die cut those two trees and then that tree is that big one right there. So that's awesome, right? And then I'm giving away the extra set of masks that coordinate with those stamps and dies. So again, these are called the Frosted Forest Decorative Masks. Your name will go on the drawing to win these on our next Facebook Live next Friday, August 23rd. Okay, let me, I think we are ready. Let's try to make sure. Yeah, okay, I've moved my notes away, but I'm sure that we are ready, ready, ready. Okay, we're gonna scoot this over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, are we ready? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab my scissors and adhesive too while I'm thinking about that. Could use another sip of water, but okay, uh, let's find, here's our host code, let's get that, okay. Here we go, turn your heads away. Okay, we're gonna fly through the air, flip the camera down, and I didn't mention, these are fun fold cards too, ladies. So, okay, that seems tight. Okay, let's just make sure. So the other day it like fell. <laughs> you guys remember that? <laughs> it's like using my shoulder to hold things up, right? Okay, so let's see, there we go. I'm gonna put my glasses on now too. All right, yeah, we got the the glare of the light. I wonder if we, there, now you don't see. Oh, there it is, okay, there. Okay, so here's our host code. This is what you're gonna wanna use to get your name in the drawing to win those masks. J-M-S-B-W-H-B-S, all right? And actually, we're gonna scoot. I like that to be kind of in the middle. There, that looks like it's about the middle, right? But um, there, you guys can see, right? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so which one are we gonna do first? I don't know why that's always such a big choice for me. Which one, which one do we wanna do first? We're gonna do this one. Okay, so check this out again. Miss Candy, hello and welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Okay, so here is, this is what I'm calling a fun fold. It actually is like a full regular, like half sheet of balmy blue cardstock. So you score it at four and a quarter inches and then again at two and one eighth. So that could go together like that, but instead it flips like that. So you can open it this way or this way, right? So, but beautiful. I love, I have to show you guys this again, right? In case, let's, let's check this paper out. Okay, so here is, again, front and back. So I think it's easier to see, right? When it's, maybe we'll put that one right there too, okay? So that's one side with all the blues, right? So kind of night of navy, boho blue, and balmy blue, right? Beautiful. It's like um, Mediterranean tile. And then here's the other side, right? 
So we've got some lemons and some oranges, right? But I love this paper. And that's what I was saying. Like, I want to use all of these patterns. And then I want to use all of these patterns, too. So got to get a couple packs of this paper. Mediterranean Blooms. Ooh, and it's on sale. Don't forget that. 15% off right now. Okay. So, oh, also, this card was inspired by, well, my card inspired, the layout was, by this card right here. And... I apologize. I I know that I got this card in the mail and uh, maybe Vina, I'm not I'm going to say maybe that you made this, right? Um let's see what is Amy? What's the blue paper? Oh, that is called Mediterranean Blooms, Amy. This paper right here, this is what you're asking about, right? This is the Mediterranean Blooms designer series paper from our annual catalog, 15% off right now. Um, so yeah, so Vina, if this is your card, please say so. If it's not your card, whoever's card it is, please let me give you credit. Love that too, so you can see the back of the designer series paper. I actually, <laughs> I, did I, um, oh, you know what? It is different. So yeah, okay. How did they do that, right? Because then you can see the back of the designer series paper. Oh, I see. It just got mounted. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's another piece of designer series paper. That's why. <laughs> I'm like, how did that work? But yeah, so this one, she used designer series paper and then the outline is also designer series paper. So you see the back. That's why I'm like, how come we don't see mine? And then I'm like, did I put some cardstock in there? But I did not. So I did not use two pieces of designer series paper. I did this one and then I did Night of Navy right there. So I guess it is a little bit different. <laughs> yes, it's definitely calling your name, Amy. It is the most beautiful paper ever. You and you, yeah, you can't deny it. It calls your name and you're like, yes, yes, come to me. I need to buy the Mediterranean Blooms paper because it's so pretty, pretty. Okay. Uh, let me roll scoot this over here, right? Okay. So let's talk about some measurements, right? We'll scoot this out of the way for the moment. Okay. So again, we have balmy blue cardstock here's a full sheet of cardstock along the 11 inch side we're going to cut it at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it so at four and a quarter inches and then in half of that again at two and one eighths of an inch okay so it goes like that and like that okay so that's kind of your card base right then let's talk about what's next so on the inside i put this my standard four by five and a quarter piece and this time so I wasn't sure if that was too big so I thought we're going to try this is a two by five and a quarter so this one we're going to do one by five and a quarter on the inside right there because I think I might like that better oh I just was thinking that seems really big right then on the outside we have a piece of four by five and a quarter this is night of navy our beautiful Mediterranean Blooms designer series paper this is three and three quarters by five so that's going to layer on there those things are going to go right there, right? And then I have a piece of basic white to do our stamping and die cutting. And then this little baby strip of Mediterranean Blooms that's going to go right there. And then this one measures two and one quarter by three quarters of an inch. So don't let me lose that one. Keep an eye on that, right? Okay, so let's do our stamping. And I think, yeah, we just have one stamp. We are using, this is a beautiful stamp set. Um, a good sentiments that a little bit different than we usually have. So I loved this one though, right? You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. Love, love, love that sentiment. And then we've got wishing you comfort. Just saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. Hope you know how much your kindness is appreciated. Um... I'm wondering, thinking of you today and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that and so on. Um, truly, deeply grateful. Probably that goes with maybe the thank you. There's a miss you, hello friend. And then this one, may you find peace in the days to come and in the loving thoughts that surround you now. I love that. I may never get rid of this sentiment because I think that is the perfect sentiment to put on a sympathy card, right? So great set of sentiments. I'm definitely drawn to because I'm not so good with my words and I love like having sentiments like this that we can put on cards that kind of help express how we're feeling when we feel inadequate 
with our words, right? So perfect uh, stamp set for that, I believe. Um, also, let me show you, these are called the Greetings of the Season Dice. So we're going to use this big label right here, but these are also part of the online exclusives that I was showing you guys earlier. So check out all of these cool label dies. Like look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are nine, right? Let's see. Yep, that does say nine. And can you read that? In super duper small print, but I did verify that. So awesome set of label dies. Greetings of the season. Oh, don't forget, I always um, put all of the names, the item codes, the colors, the dimensions, everything that you need to know to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. That'll be this afternoon. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use our Night of Navy ink because that matches our cardstock and our designer series paper. I want to move things over into that. <laughs> there, then you don't see the glare from the light. I really wish I'd turned the fan on too. I was going to wear something even warmer because um, it's supposed to be pretty cool today, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I have this like my dress on that is like tank, <laughs> my tank dress because it's warm in here, especially since I did not turn the fan on. Okay, so that we are going to put right on there. We're gonna put it down a little bit so we have room to put our little piece of designer series paper. Okay, so let's do that die cutting. Okay, here we go. My die cutting machine. And we're gonna lay this right on there. So simple yet beautiful, I believe. You don't, I mean, if you like to make um, more detailed cards, absolutely go for it. But I think these are great examples of cards that you can make that are simple yet beautiful, that use lots of great sentiments and dyes and designer series paper. Um, and they don't take a lot of time either, which I also love in the crazy days, <laughs> my crazy days anyway, um, trying to get everything done, right? It's nice to not have things be too complicated. Okay, so just because I need to make sure I don't get navy ink all over everything, we are going to just kind of clean that off real quick with our chamois, right? Okay, so I think we can put things together now, right? Um, oops, is that my adhesive? Yes, it is, okay. All right, let's bring our card <laughs> there. Philomena, I love that, simple but elevated, yes. That is, oh, you're so sweet. That's the perfect way to put that, I agree, right? Okay, so we're gonna put, get that going, get our, <laughs> this adhesive. Um, I think it's me. It's like the user, right? I don't know why I can't. There we go. There. All right. So we're going to put this one right on here. Just that little bit right down along there, right? Um, we are going to flip this over and put some dimensions. I'll just do that right now. So we're all ready to go. Okay. Kind of. I love to use dimensionals just to kind of pop things up and give them that little bit of texture that we need. We are gonna use this one right here. This is gonna go on the inside of our card. So there we go. And then we're gonna flip this one over there. Now it's running better for me. And then we'll just put that little, so again, just kind of a one, one by five and a quarter inch strip right there. We're gonna add our designer series paper onto our Knight of Navy piece, okay? Then don't put adhesive all over the back of this because you're only gonna attach it to this side. If you put it over here, then it's gonna stick here. That would not be good. So we're going to kind of run this, I don't want to get too close to this outside edge or that one or that one, right? So I don't, I don't want adhesive in places that we don't want it. And we do want to kind of lay this on here so you don't really see 
that piece. But yeah, I think I like that better, the one inch rather than the two inch. Uh, so either one, you can do whatever you want, right? Okay, so we're gonna pull the backings off the dimensionals. And then we're gonna finish our card off with some of the pretty pretties. So this is the iridescent striped ribbon. This is from our annual catalog. So we're gonna make a pretty bow with this. Okay, that one going right there. I'm gonna snip that thing. I need to grab a mini glue dot. And I think there's one right there. My finger keeps sticking to it. Okay, put that right on that little hole there. And then our last little bit is to add, these are the iridescent faceted gems. Oh, thank you, Philomena, you like that. It's a, it is a good fun fold, isn't it, right? Um, but just a simple one, but you know, whenever you can do that, I think that's always fun, right? Okay, so we're gonna add, I feel like I have more room on this side this time, so we're gonna put one there. It's probably how I die cut things. So I've got a package that's pretty well loved, and then I got kind of a newer package there, right? Okay, so we're gonna add one more, maybe right about there. And there we go. You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. And then you can write on the inside there, right? So you can go like that, you could go like that. You can have lots of fun with that card, right? So yes, simple but elevated. Thank you, Miss Philomena. And Linda, Linda loves to say bling is king, which I agree. <laughs> it certainly is. Okay, so there's card number one. We're gonna scoot that over. Let me just make sure. Let's get these things out of the way here too, right? Okay. Do, 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 do. I think we need that navy ink again because it's going to work perfectly with our next project, which let me show you this one. Okay, so this is, um, what do we call this? It is like a bookmark card. Okay, so do you see this little thing is like a bookmark. So I was going to have a book all ready to go. Hold on. I have it packed for the weekend, actually. And I think, there's one. Hold on, hold on, let me show you how this works. And I'll explain in just a sec too. Okay, so here's a book, right? And then if you were on this page, you just slip that right in there and there's your little bookmark. Isn't that so cute? So my friend Sunday, who is a librarian, friend and team member, I should say, um, showed us this card at our team meeting last month. And I said, oh my gosh, Sunday, I want to show everybody how to make that card on Facebook Live. And then it seemed kind of complicated. Um, so I kind of like finked out last Facebook Live, but I'm, I was ready to go this time too. So this is the card that Sunday made with her um, little bookmark. <laughs> like, what is this called? Bookmark. Yeah. So this is the one that she showed us at our team meeting. Isn't this beautiful, right? So then that just fits right on there. And it's a great card. So you can say best friend ever, right? And write your little sentiment on the inside. And then they can use this as a little bookmark. So I went with birthday. So we've got birthday wishes, thinking of you. I actually, so I put a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock on the back because hers looked great. It coordinated very nicely. This one I did not like as well because it's the um, kind of oranges and yellows and greens and it just kind of clashed. So I actually put another piece of cardstock over top of the back, which then just makes your bookmark a little bit more substantial too. So, okay, so let me show you. Oh yeah, <laughs> and she wrote out how to do it too, which Sunday, this was super duper helpful, you know, trying to like look at it a couple weeks later and figure out how did Sunday make this awesome card? So, okay, let's get our ink right here. Put this one and this one, and she even gave me, this was the best part because now I got, I made this a few days ago. So this is like the part that is that right there. And she said, that's the most complicated is trying to figure out how to cut it and fold it. So I've got my little example. So we'll keep that right there because we're definitely going to need that. 
mm -hmm. when I show you. More online exclusive products. This is the Everyday Greetings stamp set. So we've got our birthday and wishes. And then I use the Thinking of You awesome set of sentiments. Again, part of our online exclusives. Then we used, these are the deckled circle dies, still available online as well. So we got a couple of those circles that we're going to use. And what else? I'll show you guys. These are, these are um, the tinsel gems, the three pack with the blue. So I'm going to say misty moonlight. Um, one of the purples, maybe. Oof. They don't say on the back here, do they? I can't remember. I'm going to say Coastal Cabana. That might be like Highland Heather. I'm going to guess anyway. Okay, so let's, let's talk about measurements. Wanna? Oh, and then we used a piece of, I, have, I thought I had like a little strip, but maybe not. Oh, I do. Yeah, look. <laughs> this is, so we're going to use that little baby strip. I'm going to keep that right in my tote right now. So this is the white frayed grow grain ribbon that is also part of our online exclusives right so that's what i have left <laughs> basically okay and we're going to use some more serious adhesive there too and we will grab these guys too okay i think we are ready to do this ladies let's talk about measurements okay um yeah things are a little bit all over the place here <laughs> okay so this is your card base. It's actually just a piece of Knight of Navy for four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's like a quarter of a sheet of cardstock. So here, this is a half a sheet of Knight of Navy, right? So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, right? We had already cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, okay? So again, four and a quarter, five and a half measurements will be on my blog, okay? Then we have a piece of... Designer series paper, again, the Mediterranean Blooms, beautiful. That's gonna layer right on there. That is four by five and a quarter, okay? Next, we have a piece of Knight of Navy. This one measures six and a half by four and a quarter, scored at three and one quarter. So that's kind of our little fold right there, okay? Then we have two pieces of basic white designer series paper. I believe, yep, these measure three by four. So one's gonna go there and one's gonna go there. Then we've got that little piece of designer series paper that measures three by one, and that's gonna go right there. Then to make your bookmark, you have a piece of Mediterranean Blooms designer series paper. I'm gonna just verify, yep, it's a five by five. So five by five piece of DSP. And let's just do that right now. Okay, I'm going to pull her notes out, so I'm looking at them, but I think I know <clears throat> what I'm doing, but I'm going to get a sip of water again. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have this little cheat thing here, too. Okay, so this is the side we want to see. It doesn't really matter, but basically for right now, you're going to fold it in half. Okay, you're going to start with a piece of designer series paper, five by five. You're going to fold it in half, then you're going to open it up. And you're going to fold it in half again the other way like that okay now we're going to cut one of these squares out and i actually thought it was easier to see on this it's not quite as dark right so we're going to cut one of these i say that it's easier to see and then i'm like where's the score line okay cut one of these there. Oh boy. I need, the light is not great today because um, it's kind of dreary outside, but I think we're good there, right? Okay, so we did that. Now, I think I can kind of cheat because this is what we want to see. Okay, so I'm going to read about it though too. Decide which of the paper you want to show and place it flat down on the surface. Fold the square that is across from the one that is cut out in half on the diagonal. Okay, so we're going to go this way, right? Because that would be, so she wanted to show this. So we're going to put that face down. We're going to fold this in half, okay? 
Next, fold the other two squares together and adhere them to each other. And actually, I think that one might go better in first. Now, the one thing that I did was, and I must have done a little, <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit, um, yeah, I see. That's okay. All right. I think I was a little bit off in my <laughs> my folding or scoring, but that's okay because we are going to cover that up actually, right? Yeah, you're not even going to be able to see that. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Now, what I did though is I accidentally adhered this piece down inside there. So you don't want to do that. So we are going to just put adhesive right here and then that's going to hold our bookmark together. Okay. So there, we're going to do this one and this one, and then that'll hold everything together for us. Okay. So there's our little bookmark, right? Now, <laughs> is that what my problem is? Nope, we're good, right? So that and that. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there's something not right, isn't there, ladies? <laughs> okay. After I adhered it, I was like all patient and doing such a good job. And now I'm like, something is not looking right. So this one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, here's our piece, right? So she folded this one, this one, and then that one, and that one. There we go, because we want it to show. Okay, we got it. Okay, so that and that. So we do, I folded it the wrong way, but that's going to be okay, because we're going to go here and here. And then, yeah, because I was like, why is the yellow showing there? And then this piece is where I'm gonna put my blue DSP on. Okay, there we go. I was thinking that I wanted to see the blue back here, but I don't. I wanna see essentially the blue here with the fold and then that piece. Okie dokie, we've got it now. Gonna keep this little piece for something else another day, another time. Okay, so this is the one that I am gonna cover that up because I don't wanna see those colors back there. So we are going to add oh and this piece was i don't know if i gave you that measurement it's a two and a half by two and a half so this one is gonna go on there like that okie dokie whoo i was like sweating bullets for a sec there okay now these pieces knight of navy and basic white those are for our circles okay so i am actually because it's two different stamps i'm going to die cut these first and then we're going to stamp them okay there we go Let's grab our die cutting machine and we're going to put this one here and this one here and then we're going to grab our two circles again. These are from the deckled circles dies. That one there and that one there. We're going to just crank these guys. Here it is. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Miss Diane. Thanks for joining us and Philomena, I'm glad you're enjoying these cards too. Appreciate you guys hanging in there with me on that one for a sec. You'll figure it out. If you're flipping around, just don't adhere anything until you make sure it's going the right way. That was probably my, my one uh, downfall, right? Okay, here we go. Okie dokie. So now let's do our stamping, okay? So we've got our birthday wishes okay so here's our birthday gotta make sure we're going the right way okay so it's two different so I chose to do them on two different stamps you or two different blocks you could put them on the same but I think it's almost easier to line them up in stamping rather than trying to put them on the blocks. So isn't that beautiful though? Love that cursive font. Wish I could write like that. Okay, now we are going to kind of finish things off. Well, not finish, we gotta put it together, right? All I did was make my little <laughs> bookmark and I felt like <laughs> I felt like I had made major progress. Okay, so we're gonna add our designer series paper to our card base, which is again, 
just Knight of Navy, four by five and a quarter, or four and a quarter by five and a half, and then the DSP is four by five and a quarter, okay? Next, we are going to, and I'm gonna use, I like to use my Seal Plus on, oops, this one, because this is the actual, like, okay, card, boy, I am not having much success today. There we go. And I'm gonna run it, I'm gonna try to run it this way. There. Okay, we're gonna put that, and then see, look, I got card stuck all over my finger too. But we will make this work. Okay, that is gonna go right there. We're gonna peel that guy off, good enough. Still got some on there, but that's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, now we are going to put this piece on the inside. Okay, we got that one right there. So I just realized um, we used the Thinking of You stamp on this card and I forgot and didn't put it back in my tote. So imagine that we stamp this Thinking of You right there like that inside there. Okay, I'll be doing that later. Okay, in the meantime, we are going to add this little strip of designer series paper. Actually, no, we're gonna flip that over so that'll go on the other side. Then that won't, right? Okay, then we're gonna add this piece of white is gonna go right on here beautiful beautiful right then we're going to put our circle knight of navy circle this one is going to go right about there okay now i think this is the trick here this and this oh and you know what else we need to do let's see if this is, is this still going to be futzy i want to add this right here oh yeah so where's my little teeny tiny piece oh there it is my little tote i'm trying to yeah there we go okay we are gonna lay this right here and then maybe i'll put another run right there so that's gonna go there and that's gonna go there that's gonna go there and that's fine, right? Right there like that, okay? So this is gonna go on here and I think it's best to kind of lay that right on there and, cause I want this to be, you know, even around there, right? So I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive right there. That's pressed down in there where it's gonna go. And then we've got that one right there right so there's our little bookmark that then you can put right on the corner of a page on your book right and then oh here's a full pack of these right the tinsel gems three pack i got a partial pack here so we're gonna <coughs> use these babies up so i don't know knight of navy um misty moonlight i'm not sure which one these are but i think the blues work absolutely perfectly with that card right there. So what do you guys think? I'm super excited about these cards. Very happy that I was able to figure it out. <laughs> um, just flip it, uh, you know, the um, bookmark, just flip it until you get it where you need to, right? Before you would hear anything. That's my, that's my advice to you ladies. Okay, so quick recap as always, okay? If you order online through me using our host code right here, the J-M-S-B-W-H-B-S, you're going to get both of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name is entered into the drawing to win. This is the awesome Frosted Forest decorative masks, right? So you just kind of um, sponge right inside there and it's going to make beautiful trees for you. You also get to pick from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial featuring this card that i made or the free embellishment and if you bump your order up to 100 dollars, you get five free cards too so so much free stuff every single time you order there's never a 
um, it's available or it's not. It's always available. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate, as always, your online orders. It's what helps keep me going on Facebook Live. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, hopefully it's not raining where you guys are, right? Although the grass is going to be pretty after this. And we'll see you guys next Friday. Bye, everybody. Thank you.